My name is Ben Duchaney and welcome to Truck Life. I've converted my truck bed into a full-on camper. So right away after I got my truck, I picked up this ARE truck cap and also the Yakima racks. Going into the cab of the truck, this is where I keep things like cam straps, bottom and stern lines, uh, orange flags if I need it. This is also where I keep my Adventure Medical Kits steelhead first aid kit, which is super important, and uh, any extra magazines. So if you see me, fishing somewhere, come say hi, let's talk fishing, I'll give you a magazine. The only thing that's important on the passenger side, besides my air freshener, which is really important, is uh, the glove box, which is where I keep um, bug spray that I need to replace. This is where I spend the majority of my time in this truck, driving to and from, shooting locations, photo shoots, uh, going fishing, just for me, which is very rare, uh, you might be surprised, my life jacket from life proof which makes my phone float which is very important so this is the kind of padding that you'd find on like a kite board or a surfboard or something like that this plastic panel under here cracked and it was digging in so i just had a little foam pad looks ugly as hell but really works and uh business cards sunscreen so at the back of the truck bed i keep things that are you know i need all the time or quick access things so i've got my spare top slider water shoes i got my uh some bungees my Yeti Roadie 20, where I keep my fly rods, my rod tubes. I have uh, paddles, canoe paddles, kayak paddles in here. So some more quick access items I have are some duct tape, which I clearly need more of. Uh, essential foods like peanut butter and coffee. So I haven't really found a better system yet for my rods, but right now I'm just tying them to the accessory handles here on the truck bed that all Tacomas have. Sold these suckers for my fiance when I realized I didn't have any pillows. So I also have this cargo net uh, that has a camp light bulb on a carabiner that is attached to the Goal Zero Yeti 150, and that can that can light my whole truck bed, which is really great at night. I also have in this cargo net two jackets. I have the Howler Brothers quilted quay posts and the Sims guide jacket which is like kind of my go-to rain jacket all weather jacket so probably the most important thing in this entire truck bed is this goal zero yeti 150 right here this thing powers all of my cameras my laptop uh people's uh, you know other people's cameras phones this thing is uh you know it really changed the way that i see trips and how i stay powered on trips buffs of course Back here, I have this nice neat pile of my Kokatat dry suit. I have the idle dry suit, so it's actually a two-piece. I also have my Orvis waders right here, and a little camp kitchen here, a couple spoons, fork, and uh, just a quick pan. So I didn't design this system. Uh, a photographer named Becca Skinner actually uh, gave me the idea for this on Instagram. But these drawers can uh, open up. I have my camp stove and my pot, coffee maker, some soups. I have all my Plano tackle boxes in here. Uh, I have my fly boxes, all my reels. Uh, I keep a lot in here. This is kind of like my, my go-to here. This is also where I keep my PFD. I have an extra, extra sports striper PFD, which is great for all my tools and knives and whatever that I keep on my PFD and it's also got tons of pockets which I like. So I use canoe locks which are locking cam straps and before you say oh well I'll just cut them. There's also steel cable running through the straps themselves so they can't be cut unless you have like you know industrial bolt cutters in which case you can have the kayaks dude. Good effort. Oh my god it's a mess. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of my truck and my truck bed and I'm hoping you paddle forever and fish longer.